Now, this was a very interesting conversation, to say the least. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a teacher out in Pflugerville, Texas, right by Austin, Texas, who has been put on administrative leave for some comments he made about being a racist to his class. Now, I'm not really sure what kind of class this was. They said it was a quote unquote advisory session. What does that mean? Does he teach reading, writing, arithmetic? What was this? What is an advisory session? If you guys in Texas or anywhere else know what that is, y'all please let me know in the comments below. I don't want to make an assumption and say it was in school suspension or something like that, but I want to know what that is. It wasn't a regular class. But anyway, he told these kids that in no uncertain terms, I am a racist. Now, let's get to the video. Of course, this video will be in the description box if you want to see it without my commentary. But let's go ahead and check it out, and then I'll give my commentary afterward. Deep down in my heart, I'm ethnocentric, which means I think my race is the superior one. Oh! Hey, look! Hey, look! Let me so, now, if you didn't quite hear that, he said, deep down... He says, I'm ethnocentric, and deep down, I believe that my race is a superior one. He's a white guy, so he's saying, I believe my race is superior to all the other races. Let's keep on going here. White is better than all. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Go ahead. Hey. I think everybody thinks that. They're just not honest about it. Hey, I'm not racist, though. I like all types of kinds. Did I say I don't like people? People only you think that. Wait, so you said you are what? You are racist? You're saying you're like... You're I racist? think everybody's a racist at, at that level. No, but you said you are racist. <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah, I'm trying to be honest. Yes, I'm racist. No, I'm not saying it again. I've said it enough. So you're racist. I think I'm slightly telling you to stop speaking. Now, I have no idea why this conversation started. I don't even know what the whole situation is. I don't know really what's going on. Um, I think he had been talking before this, and he was telling them, get the cameras out, get the phones out, but they were already recording. That's what I'm hearing. But I don't know the context of the conversation. All that I know is that this guy's right here is saying, hey, I believe that my race is superior and everyone else feels that same way on a certain level, although they don't want to admit it. That's what he's saying right here. I'm not saying I agree with that. I'm just saying what he's saying. Put your phone up. <laughs> I, 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 I actually respected you for a while, but like I'm now. Your phone up. I don't even have no more respect for you. Put it up. Yeah, for real. I don't think I got respect for him no more, bro. Mm -mm. You know, you should have more respect. Yeah, so at the end, you got the, the kids talking about, I used to respect him, but I don't anymore. And then the other kid agreed, and the teacher was like, well, you should have more respect for me. Now, the video cuts off, but I presume he wanted to say, well, you should respect me more because I'm honest. And I'm not going to say that the kids should respect him more, but I think they should appreciate his honesty because a lot of people will not like you. They'll hate you. But they won't tell you that to your face. They'll say it behind your back. I think that's much more dangerous. Okay. That's that's definitely much more dangerous. Here's a a, a news article and video about the whole situation. Let's go ahead and watch this and see if there's any more context. And let's hear from the parents as well if we're able to do that. A teacher at Bowles Middle School is on leave while Pflugerville ISD investigates a video in which he tells students that he believes his race is superior. Tonight, KVU's Fort Sanders shows us how school leaders and parents are reacting. I was just completely appalled, but not surprised. Emotions coming from Bowles Middle School parents like Monique Hennington in reference to this video. Deep down in my heart, I'm ethnocentric, which means I think my race is the superior one. These comments made by a teacher at Bowles Middle School during an advisory period this week. Again, there's their advisory period thing. Y'all tell me what that means in the comments below, please. Parents like Dr. Shantae Lyons say it's disheartening. I think the most disturbing piece is that it was a situation where kids had to experience this real time. Oh, so he got fired, actually. I thought he, got, I thought he was suspended, but he got fired completely. Because the, the initial thing was he was put on administrative leave, but now he's completely been fired, which is not surprising. You say something like that as a white male teacher, your days are numbered. Time. We still don't know the identity of the teacher or what led up to this conversation. White is better than all. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. Hey. I think everybody thinks that they're just not honest about it. Parents like Brian Hennington say this should never happen in a school. There are other personal experiences we've had as a people of color 
that we had individually, but to see this in the classroom setting is it, just not acceptable. In the video, the students respond. Hey, I'm not I like you all types of times. Did I say I don't like people? Wait, so you said you are what? You are racist? You're saying you're like, you're I racist? think everybody's a racist at, at that level. No, that demonstrated to me a level of maturity that they had more so than he had. Even though he felt that he was being honest, he was not being mature as an educator. Now, I'll pause right here. I think the kids did this very, they handled it very well. The, the kids weren't irate or acting the fool. You know, because a lot of times when you hear about racism, or any kind of allegations of racism. You got a lot of rioting and looting and carrying on, but the kids didn't do that. They just had a conversation and they expressed themselves pretty well. They were asking questions. They were inquisitive. And then, like I said, toward the end, a couple of the kids were like, you know what? I used to respect you, but now I don't. And it wasn't like in a way that they were trying to be aggressive. This is just how they feel. He says how he feels. They say how they feel. And it was an honest conversation. Now, I'm not saying I agree with the teacher, but I agree with how that went rather than there being so much hatred towards how someone feels. You may not agree with what they think or how they feel. What's the point of getting violent and want to start fighting and shooting and carrying on? That does no good because someone does not like you or they have a view that you don't agree with. Parents saying this brings about larger conversations. Furthermore, before I, I know I'm interrupting and I'm sorry, this would be in the box if you want to see without my commentary. But furthermore, a lot of these school systems teach about white supremacy, right? They say how, uh, and they'll even be like a little race chart. I saw this, um, like, like a lemonade stand, and then it had prices based upon, I guess you say your your race class. So if you are white or Asian, you pay one dollar, and then it went all the way down to American, and you would pay like five cents. So you're, you're talking about how worthless people are based upon their race, how they're not able to do this, they're not able to do that. Joe Biden talking about poor kids, just as smart as white kids. And then they'll say, um, well, since our black and Hispanic kids are not doing very well, we're going to just lower their reading and writing standards for everyone. It's, it's all kind of stuff to where they say that you can't succeed, you can't do it. But then when he says, I feel like whites are superior, the same people who talk about whites having this much and that much and that much will say that's racist. But in reality... They're saying the exact same things, just in different ways. One way is more comfortable than the other. It's just like saying people of color versus colored people. It's the exact same thing. You just spice it up to make it sound a little bit more modern and update. But really, it's the exact same phrase. But I'm getting triggered, so I digress. They need to continue to have with their children. I think this is reflective of society and I think it, it pushes, pushes the urgent need for us to be active parents and to have some real quality dinner table discussions and supporting our kids' development. So, I mean, I agree with that last part. I don't agree with the entire thing that the parent just said right there, but it, you should always have these talks with your children, dinner table conversations about what's going on in society, regardless of what it is, whether you think something that's going on that's not going on or whether it is going on, have those talks with your kids and tell them how to resolve conflicts, how to express themselves in a respectful way, the same way those kids did. I'm probably proud of the, These are middle school kids too. Middle school kids who have more sense and less hatred in their hearts than full grown adults. When you're talking about issues like this, that could be very triggering to some people. Fulgerville ISD did send us a statement reading in part, quote, this interaction does not align with our core beliefs as a district. The video of the conversation includes statements that we find wholly inappropriate. Ford, you went out to the school today. What do parents that you spoke with want to see come from this? Yeah, one of the big things is they definitely want to see that thorough investigation happening, but they also want to see support for their students. Something Pflugerville ISD told us is they did talk to the students. They also want to have staff and counselors there in case they want to continue these conversations any further. All right, we'll see how it develops from here. Four ten. So, so there we go. So the teacher, like I said, like they said, they're not revealing his identity. I'm sure some internet sleuths will find him. I don't know who the guy is. I don't know his exact name or whatever. But according to this headline that I just was looking at, he is no longer employed by Pflugerville ISD out there by Austin, Texas. But as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to those kids for handling this perfectly. I think one of the kids is um, a, a rapper by the name, not rapper, he's a producer, a hip-hop producer by the name of Southside. That's his son. I think Southside said something on Instagram. If I could find that, I'll link to it in the box. 
So this might not necessarily be some kind of poor school. I'm not really sure what's going on with this particular area. If it's in Austin, like if, it, if it's a suburb of Austin, it's probably a nice area, but I could be wrong. Either way it goes, these kids handle this very well. I see grown adults in Congress right now who could not handle these kind of things like this. And when they get down to screaming and hollering and carrying on, look at the view, look at MSNBC and places like that. Okay. I've seen some really hateful and nasty things said toward people who have said a lot less egregious things than that teacher. Like I've never seen a person go in the view and say, I am a racist like the teacher did here, but yet and still a lot of people that go in the view or MSNBC get talked down to scream, don't interrupt it. It's a whole big mess. So again, shout out to those kids, the teacher. I don't know what you were thinking about, but I think what you did was display how well behaved your class is, which is a good thing. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this whole situation? What do you think the context is? Again, I don't know the context. Maybe the kids were acting up. Maybe he was just wanting to vent and get it off his chest. I have no idea what the context was. But what I do know is what was said. How do you feel about what the teacher said? How do you feel about how the, the kids reacted? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys pretty much know where I'm at. I think this was a great example of how to react to those that you don't agree with, that you might not even like. This is the perfect example of how to react. Trying to go tear stuff up, tear your neighborhood down, bring your neighborhood down. What good does that do? It doesn't do anything, but just make life harder for you to live in that particular part of the country or that part of the world. It doesn't do anything, but videos like this, conversations like this help much more than anything else ever could, at least in my humble opinion. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.